In this video, we will show you how to test your leak detector using the included leak standard bottle or testing with refrigerant. These both will determine the leak detector performs to specifications. Lift off the plastic sealing cap on the top of the leak standard. Then remove the protective seal from the top of the bottle. We're now going to power on the units. Warm up mode should be 30 to 45 seconds on the leak detectors. On the original AccuProbe and the AccuProbe UV, there are mute buttons. The AccuProbe 2 does not have a mute button. So the AccuProbe 2 is out of warm up, the original AccuProbe is out of warm up. And the X-Probe UV will be coming out of warm up. On the AccuProbe 2, you will only get an audible alarm. So you will take your leak standard bottle again, and you'll get an audible alarm. That should work in all the sensitivities. On the original AccuProbe and the AccuProbe UV, you will get both an audible alarm and the light will flash, as well as the smart alarm. So if you are using the mute and you do a detection, you'll get a number as well as the flash. AccuProbe UV, same thing, we take it off mute. We'll get an audible alarm as well as the flash. And if we have it on mute, then again you'll get the smart alarm display as well as the flashing light. Then you'll replace the seal cap back on the leak test bottle and you'll use that until the green is no longer available. So by testing with the leak standard bottle, this indicates that the sensor and the electronic circuits are functioning properly. We can now test with refrigerant. You should never test the leak standard with straight refrigerant out of a refrigeration cylinder. First, there are environmental concerns with releasing refrigerant into the air also, the leak detector will reset to ambient and will not detect such a heavy concentration of refrigerant. Taking the leak detector away, this will reset the unit. Never exposed to a direct stream of refrigerant, you may think the leak detector isn't working properly when in fact it probably saturated the sensor. So you can test with refrigerant by using a service cap and a jug of refrigerant. So with the appropriate eye protection and hand protection, we're going to put the cap directly onto the tank. We're gonna open the valve on the tank for a couple of seconds. Then we're going to close the valve completely and remove the cap. And when you remove the cap, you'll get just a little pressure. And then we'll take it to the leak detector to test. So going to the original AccuProbe, so you can see our smart alarm went up. Go ahead and take it off mute. So you'll get a higher number than you do with the leak standard bottle. Then over to the UV. Again, you'll get the smart alarm and the audible alarm. So what we have to remember about the AccuProbe UV is if it's exposed for five seconds, it'll reset, 
you take it away from the leak source and then come back. Thank you for watching this Yellow Jacket technical tip video. If there are any other tech tip videos you would like to see, post them on the ideas page at www.yellowjacketuniversity.com.